<laughs> Guys, I'm on a bike now. Hey! This thing is pretty quick. I should start door dashing this thing, man. And this thing is actually going 9, 20 miles per hour right now. I got the little horn right here. All right, boys. Turn on my truck. And wapana. We're here with my baby. One of the pros to this bike is that it's super easy to build. Anyone can do it in literally 10 to 20 minutes. Another perk to the bike is that it actually goes up to 20 miles per hour and it's foldable. So you don't got to worry about space because this thing doesn't take up any. Genuinely love this bike and I love that I can take it with me everywhere. So, I need uh, tortas, chorizo, salchicha, ham, lettuce, tomato, onion, avocado, chili, vinagre, queso blanco. So, we're gonna start off with a bread. Let me see. Oh, there they are. These are, these are weenie ones. Shredded lettuce. Chorizo, queso fresco, uh, card. Okay, thank you. I do a quick pickup. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna um I'm have to be cooking this in the middle of me picking stuff up. So we'll cook this as soon as I get a little break. But the only thing I wasn't able to get, man, was a torta bread and the milanesa. Oh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have my aunt, she has a little Mexican uh restaurant. I'm gonna have her make me the milanesa and sell me the bread. That way I can I can do it right because I didn't want to get that skimpy bread. That bread was all small and I was like, you know what? That's not a real torta cubana. So I was like, screw it. I messaged her and she's gonna make me the milanesa and the bread. So I'm gonna just have to go pick it up. I just got to this place. I swear the stuff. Woo! Made it. Alright guys, so I got an elote <laughs> and now we're on our way to go pick up the freaking uh, the bolillo y la milanesa porque my aunt's restaurant it's in a little street and I wouldn't be able to take my truck there so came back to the yard real quick since none of my orders are going to be ready till 4 it's barely 2.50 right now so I got about an hour and a half to play with so I can go pick this up real quick made it to my aunt's restaurant let's go with the food hola se va levantando mi orden oh es la milanesa si sí. oh. guys if you guys ever want to come out here 
Okay, muchas gracias. Gracias, tía. Okay, bye. bye. All right, guys. So now that we have some time, finally, now we're going to make the torta cubana inside the truck. Let's get everything out that we need. The ham. We got the milanesa right here. Avocado. Cebolla. Tomato. The weenies. The chorizo. And I think, oh, and the lettuce. Oh, y el queso. How can I forget about the queso? I'm gonna try to do this fast. I'm just, I, just for fun, I'm just gonna time myself, see how long this takes me. Ready? Set. Honestly, I have no idea how to slice onion. I mean, hey, look at it. Same thing, you just break it up into little pieces. And voila. So far we got two minutes on the clock. That's amazing. I'm gonna cut just a slice of this. Just, uh, Like that and then once once we need to we'll cut it up into smaller pieces the avocado nation oh this avocado is super super soft Can't forget about my jalapeno. My grill. Oh. And it is on. Now we let it get a little hot. The chorizo on there. We're gonna let it cook for a little bit. I got the milanesa right here. I'm gonna throw it back on here just to warm it up. Or I might just throw it in the air fryer, I'm not sure. And I got the weenies that I'm about to open right now. Torta cubanas are my favorite. My aunt makes them so good. I should probably put the, uh, the salchichas on here already. So the salchichas, how I do it, is I just go like this. If it's not done right, I'm sorry. But this is just how I like to do them and how my mom made them for me when I was a little kid. You know, actually, I think I'm just gonna put the torta on here just so it gets the flavor of everything that's cooking on here onto the bread. So we'll probably just do that. And look at how big this bread is, man. This thing's gonna be huge. That's why I put the whole pack of chorizo in here because I was like, it's gonna be a lot. And there, I got a bunch right there. Um, so right now, we're at 14 minutes and 53 seconds. That's how long this is taking. I'm gonna throw these on there already, just so they warm up. Jalapeno's right here too. Chorizo's almost ready, guys. It's smelling delicious. It's, it smells really spicy, though. El chorizo está listo. I think it's ready. Get out. Take out the milanesa. Salchicha. Ready. Now it's time to put the bread Just cut all along the edge. Bam, wapana. 
All right, we're gonna add some on the bread to make it nice and toasty. All right, so far we got 25 minutes on the clock. I'm pretty sure it has like uh, mayonesa and all that stuff on there. So instead of using mayonesa and all that stuff, I'm gonna use some guacamole and habanero hot sauce. Oh my goodness. That already looks delicious, okay? So we're gonna... Woo! Woo! Wow! All right, that's the bottom piece. Like I said, we're gonna put some, some habanero on here. So we got the lechuga right here. For the queso, I'm just gonna cut into like slices. Put it all across, like that. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm if I'm doing this right. Put the winotes right there. Wapana chorizo. Whoa, I gotta be careful with this because this for sure will make a mess. All right, last product. Oh wait, los jalapeños. Se me olvidaba. You guys are probably like, dude, the jalapeños. <clears throat> La milanesa on the top. Hear that crisp? Nice and crispy. The top piece. Bam! It's done with 33 minutes and 21 seconds it took me to make a torta cubana. That's kind of long. I thought it was going to be quicker. This is... Look at the size of this. It is a monster. Oh my goodness. I just, it looks so good. I'm gonna try to cut it through. I don't think it cut all the way through. Look at this, guys. Oh, oh, second to Look at that. This looks absolutely amazing. I'm proud of myself. And I still forgot about the ham. Oh my gosh. How dare I? All right guys, now it is time to try this thing. Now this is freaking delicious. that that is delicious if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up let's try to get this video to 7,000 likes i made a torta cubana my style and let me tell you it's delicious it smells good in here i honestly these are like my favorite videos to make because i'm not really a cooking person but i'm trying to learn how to cook and like the whole process of doing all this is super fun. I love it. I love making these kind of videos. So if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more, let me know down below what other things I should cook in my truck. Let me know whether I have to just use an air fryer the whole time. You name it and I'll do it. Whatever gets the most likes in the comments, I'll do. But also guys, if you guys are ever interested in sending me a letter or sending me anything, even if you guys have merch or something that you guys want to reach out to me and want, want me to have or something, I have a P.O. Box finally. It's P.O. Box 301, Dinuba, California, 93618. So if you want to send anything to it, send it there. As always, guys, I'll see you guys back again on Sunday for a brand new trucking vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Vamano!